for Fort Wayne, Paul Bernardo, who's been injured a good part of the year, former member of the Louisville Thunder, back in action tonight at midfield, and the starting defenders are Alan Bodenstein and Mike Noonan. Fort Wayne in red top to bottom, the invaders in the home gray with the black shorts, black numerals, red and black trim. Bernardo dumps it ahead, Basil at the Canton red line, shot wide to the left, and uh, Don Tobin controls the rebound, bounces it around Noonan ahead for Frick, and an obstruction foul goes against Noonan as Fricky goes down to the floor. That's the first team foul on either club in the game. It comes with 14.47 to play, just underway in the first quarter. No score here at the Civic Center. You're with WHBC FM in Canton, Ohio. Oscar Pisano to put the ball in play for the Invaders. Taps it ahead to Steve Frick. Frick working against Bodenstein at the Fort Wayne red line. The ball knocked away from behind by Basil and cleared back and controlling is DiBernardo. Indiana University product up the right side of the field. Basil back to the net. Kia knocked the ball away from behind and Swanner controls. Outlet short on the left side to Don Tobin. Tobin working on DiBernardo across the floor on the right side to Oscar Pisano. Pisano one step two, ball taken away and coming the other way is Basil. It's two on one if they hurry. Basil with O'Keefe and the pass for Basil or for O'Keefe is in front of him. Tobin tries to clear and we've got a two minute call coming up against Oscar Pisano after the play. Terry Campbell with a blue card out, and Fort Wayne will be going on the power play. Apparently an unsportsmanlike conduct call against Pisano after the ball was away. Didn't see what happened, but uh, Pisano sits down for two minutes. Time of the penalty just 43 seconds into the game, and Fort Wayne will go on the man advantage.
That's on sportsmanlike conduct on Pisano. Okay. So Oscar gets two for unsportsmanlike conduct, and Fort Wayne will go on the power play. On the year, the Flames have not uh, been a real good power play team, just nine goals and 43 attempts for 21%. The Invader penalty killer, 75% success rate, 13 out of 53. Tim Tima, he'll be our guest at halftime out there with a big bandage around that right arm. Uh, damage, uh, ligament damage, I think, in the thumb sustained in the last game against Chicago here. Fun bunch, they clear it to midfield. De Bernardo, ball stolen away, and Kramer scores! Short-handed! Steve Frick will get the assist. Warren Lipka tried to handle it and got picked clean, and the fun bunch scores, and the Invaders lead 1-0. Kramer's third shorthanded goal of the year. It's his 13th goal overall on the season. Steve Frick will get his sixth assist. And the Invaders lead 1-0. Time of the goal, 106. Lipka tried to maneuver the ball around Frick, and that was a mistake because he really didn't have any help back there. Fricky able to slide down and take it away. Lipka tripped Frick, did not get called for it. Uh, and it was probably a good no-call because the Invaders had the advantage. Kramer had nothing but the empty net left to tap the ball into. And the Invaders lead 1-0. Power play unit for Fort Wayne, Mark Lugris, Ken Killingsworth, Dan O'Keefe, Paul DiBernardo, and the player coach, Tom Alioto. And, of course, the fun bunch killing the penalty. Kramer, Tima, Frick, and Kondrich for the Invaders. Minute 31 left in the penalty as the Fort Wayne man-up team back on the attack. Ball knocked back to the Flames' red line again. Di Bernardo flags it down there. Invaders lead 1-0. Di Bernardo in the Canton zone. Left side, Lugris with a shot. Slapped in the corner by Swanner. Lugris double-team. Tima knock it away out front of the point to Di Bernardo. Centering ball deflected by Kondrich and cleared away by Kramer. That's going to be too far. A three-line violation, though. And with a minute nine left in the penalty on Pisano, Fort Wayne will take it back to the Invader red line. Fort Wayne's still a man up, but the Invaders lead 1-0. Right point, Alioto. Couple of steps in. Out to Di Bernardo. Thought about the shot, didn't take it. Lugris fires. It's blocked by Tima. And Kramer tries to clear it out. Frick and Di Bernardo in a race. Di Bernardo lost at Killingsworth. Controls in the left point. Kenny inside and back out front. It comes to Alioto on the point. 50 seconds in the penalty. Alioto, couple steps in on Kramer. Middle of the floor, Di Bernardo. And he tries to get it into O'Keefe. O'Keefe shot blocked by Condor. Second one shoots and scores. He got the rebound back and found the inside of the left post against Swanner. And Fort Wayne on the power play ties it up at 1-1. Time of the goal comes at 2:02 uh, For Fort Wayne, the power play goal, O'Keefe, is 16th goal of the season. And I think Di Bernardo will get an assist on that, but we'll wait and make sure. Maybe Alioto. Alioto gets his eight eighth assist on the season, and the game is tied 1-1. New line in for Canton. Tima and Mike Paxos on defense, and the Primo line back together. Magic Celestin at midfield with Art Kramer and Rudy Pekosinski up front. Tim Tima, pass blocked by Horace Fleps. Mike Paxos gets it back, dumps it in the goal box for Jamie Swanner. Jamie pumps once, now long lead, left side. Fort Wayne red line, Pekosinski. Rudy working on Mike Noonan, takes it down in the corner. Back out front, Tim Tima, left point. Back to Pekosinski, and it's knocked away by Noonan. Tima's got it back at midfield. Back in the goal arc to Swanner at the other end. 12.20 to play in the first quarter. We're tied 1-1. Jamie Swanner, a couple of steps forward. Now lead ball. Once Rudy, Lipka stepped in front, knocked it into the corner. Rudy beat Noonan out there and got it back. Centers for Kramer, knocked away by Bodenstein. And Noonan taps it back in the goal box for Lipka. Long lead, left side, Horace Fleps. It's too far for him. And Mike Paxos taps it in on the one hop to Jamie Swanner. Outlet right side midfield. Magic Celeste in there for the Invaders. And you've got a whistle. Away from the play, and another red card coming up from Terry Campbell. And what's this one for? And it's apparently against Canton again. Too many men, I believe, is the call. And so Fort Wayne will go on the power play again. 
This penalty time will come at 3.08. The first man advantage, Fort Wayne scored, but so did the Invaders. So the Invaders with too many men on the field, and Pisano will go right back in the box and serve this one. Second power play opportunity for Fort Wayne. Again, they scored on the first one, but they also gave up a shorthanded goal. DiBernardo coming up the floor for the Flames. Right side in the point area to Alioto. Middle of the floor to DiBernardo against Steve Frick. Couple of steps in. O'Keefe sweeps it in the corner. Alioto shot blocked by Tima. Rebound up in the stage. And that'll be a goal kick for the Invaders. 11.36 to play in the first quarter and a minute 45 left in the penalty. Game is tied 1-1. Kramer has scored for Canton. O'Keefe has the Fort Wayne goal. And we're still in the first uh, three and a half minutes of the game. We've already had two penalties and two goals. Jamie Swanner in the goal box. Outlet midfield for Frick. Knocked away by DiBernardo. Lugris taps it back. It's behind Alioto in the Fort Wayne goal area to Lipka. Now Alioto, now DiBernardo. Out across the midfield circle. Frick backing up. Invaders in the diamond. Left side feed, Lugris, pass blocked by Tima. O'Keefe with a shot, kick save and a beauty by Swanner. Rebound Killingsworth, and the shot was partially deflected by Kondrich. And Swanner grabs it and holds on, and he almost got run over by O'Keefe. Jamie will come out of the box with it, sends it ahead, and it goes down into the Fort Wayne goal area. Minute five in the penalty. Lipka drops it ahead for Paul DiBernardo. DiBernardo, right side, midfield to Alioto. Fort Wayne player coach. He'll be on the all-star team. Shot wide. Swanner missed the rebound. Alioto's follow hit the post on the right side. Lugris in the corner. Killingsworth centers. Alioto's shot. Oh, what a play by Swanner. Loose in the corner. Condridge sends it ahead. DiBernardo takes Frick down. And that'll be the second foul against Fort Wayne. Here comes Art Kramer up the right side for the Invaders. Ball tapped away. Tima got it back. 35 seconds left in the penalty in the corner for Frick. Frick Move around one, middle of the floor. Once the feed, it's behind Kramer on the left side. Hardy gets it back up against the boards. Trying to get inside DiBernardo. Frick with a double team to help out. 22 seconds. Fricky in the corner. And trying to move around Lugris and does. And down into the corner. Now outside of the point. Frick to Kramer. Ball rocked away and scores! DiBernardo putting in his own net. Second shorthanded goal for Canton. I believe Kramer will get credit for it. They tried to clear. They knocked it right, by, right out. It hit DiBernardo and went in. The Invaders lead 2-1. to one. Time of the goal, 4.58. Both Invader goals shorthanded. And I think the stat men are still figuring out who's going to get credit for this one. Kramer with a goal. And Frick gets his second assist of the night. And he won't get an easier one, I'll tell you that. Lenny Armuth in the game for Fort Wayne. Only four seconds left in the penalty. Noonan down in the corner, left side. And they tap it out front. Armuth up front, shot wide, shot. Oh, saved by Swanner. Off the good shot from uh, Horse Fleps. Now here's Pisano. The penalty's over. Invaders have killed it off and scored another shorthanded goal. Kramer working on Armuth into the corner in the Fort Wayne zone. Invaders changing lines while Pisano dribbles. Outlet to midfield on the right side to Don Tobin. And he'll chase it back into the Canton end. Tap it in the box to Swanner. Jamie outside the arc with it now. Right side to Tobin. One touch right back to Swanner. Invaders lead 2-1. Two, two shorthanded goals. Long lead for Kia. Kia almost got inside Noonan. Feeds the middle. Condridge, he shoots. He scores! Tom Condridge puts the Invaders up 3-1. Give Kia the assist. Time of the goal, 5.52. For Tomo, it's his third goal of the year. For Kia, his 19th assist. And the Invaders lead 3-1. to one. And Fort Wayne <laughs> wisely wants to call timeout to talk this over. They're in danger of getting blown right out of here. Exactly. 
Goodbye, Warren Lipka. Otto Orb comes in to play goal. Well, that's the earliest I've seen a goalkeeper pulled in a long time. Lipka played only five minutes and 52 seconds before being pulled, and Otto Orb comes in with 9.08 to play in the first quarter. So Lipka having a bit of a nightmare in the Fort Wayne net, and they'll see if Orp can do any better. In fairness to Lipka, a couple of times he did not have a whole lot of support. Killingsworth, Pleps, Lugris, Alioto, and Durst on the floor for Fort Wayne. Frick, Kia, Tobin, Pisano, and Condrich for the Invaders. Canton three, Fort Wayne one. Alioto lead ball too far for Bob Forsenitis, who has checked in. In place of Horst uh, Pleps and the long lead by Swanner is too far for Kia. Alioto chases it down in the Fort Wayne end, dumps it into Otto Orff. Orff and Lugris were teammates with Columbus last year. Now on the left side, or right side to Alioto. Picked up by Kia, Dean Dewarst, who played for the Milwaukee Wave a year ago. Uh, head to Alioto. Lead ball into Porcinitis. Porcinitis double teamed by Kia and Kondrich. And the ball knocked loose. Tobin feeds it in the middle of the floor to Stevie Frick. And now back to Pisano. And the Invaders playing without uh, head coach Trevor Dawkins tonight. Pisano back at the red line to Kondrich. Tomo with Porcinitis on him. Lead ball for Kia. Kia trying to get inside Alioto. And Alioto got tripped and the foul goes against Kia. That is the first one on the Invaders. Two on Fort Wayne in the period. Invaders have been called for a pair of two-minute penalties, however. They have scored two shorthanded goals and given up one power play goal, and they've scored one even-handed. Score is 3-1 Canton. 8.06 to play in the first period. Orff long lead. Porcinitis double team. Kondrich knocks it straight up in the air. Pikasinski tried to hit it over Dewars, but Dewars got a piece of it. Tobin ahead to Rudy. Pikasinski, Fort Wayne red line, trying to get inside Dean Dewars. Dewars knocked the ball away, controlled by Otto Orr. Or out led on the left side to Alioto, ahead to Killingsworth, midfield. Deflected, but Killingsworth got around Tobin. Pisano with him stride for stride into the corner. And Kenny reverses his field, backing it up out front to the point. Lugris back to Killingsworth, give and go feed in the left corner. And again, Pisano there to cut him off on the boards. Kenny back up front, shot blocked by Tiemann. Rebound controlled on the left side by Lugris. And Lugris back out to midfield to Alan Bodenstein. Bodenstein ahead, and the ball knocked away, and Pisano tries to clear to Rudy. Bodenstein up over his back, and they call Rudy for obstruction, which is not the correct call. Nothing Rudy could do. He just got some, somebody crawling up his back, but it's the second foul on Canton, at least according to the referee. Porcinitis lead for O'Keefe. It's too far, and Tima sweeps it in the goal box for Jamie Swanner. Swanner outlet on the right side to Pisano. Touches it ahead. Magic Celestin at midfield. Paul DiBernardo on defense for Fort Wayne. Magic man for Art Kramer. Primo line back together. Kramer for Rudy. Rudy up front. They feed to Magic. Magic. Middle of the floor. Down to Pikasinski. Open. He shoots it off with the save. And controls in the goal box. 6.42 in the period. Long lead. Nobody home. Team taps it ahead for Canton. Art Kramer at midfield. And Artie dumps it ahead. Nobody home there, but Artie got it back off a bad feed from Lugris. Ahead to Rudy. Knocked it just wide to the left. Orff came out and cut down the angle. O'Keefe double team taken away. Kramer, he shoots. It's blocked up front by Noonan. Magic after the rebound. Takes it out on the right point. And DiBernardo went for the steal. Didn't get it. Here comes Magic. He feeds Rudy. Rudy turns. He shoots. It's blocked up front. Rudy dumps it in the corner to Magic. Back to Pikasinski, and he's hammered by Orff, and they get the call again. They call Rudy for obstruction. That's two that have gone against Rudy, and both of which were poor calls. Bodenstein, ball blocked by Kia. And Bodenstein comes in around one. Ball knocked away by Tima, taken by Magic. And Magic will try to move around Basil and does, but the whistle blows before that. And which way did the foul go? It is against Fort Wayne, the third foul on the Flames. <laughs> Team fouls even at three apiece. 5.46 to play in the first quarter. Kia right side at the Canton red line. Ahead for Steve Frick. Frick working against Alioto in the corner. And Fricky dumps it back out front for Magic, taken away by DiBernardo. 
DiBernardo up the left side of the floor for Fort Wayne. Now Basil picked up by Tima. Basil to DiBernardo. Back to Basil outside the box. He shoots. Good save by Swanner. And Timmy Tima taps it back into where Jamie can control. Long lead for Frick. Frick's got one man to beat. Key is open. He shoots. And he whipped on the shot. Oh, did Frick gave him a nice ball. Beautiful feed, and Kia couldn't put it away. He had Orf, he had Orf hung out to dry and couldn't find the net. Ken Killingsworth, left side of the Canton red line. Paxos on D. Lugris, ball deflected by Tobin, but Lugris gets it back. And they back it out to Dean Dewars. Midfield circle to Alioto. 4.56. Well, Kia will have nightmares about that one. Dewars. Ahead for Mark Lugris. Lugris double team deflected and taken back at the Fort Wayne red line by Alioto. Now Dewarst on the left side. Don Tobin on D. Dewarst looking up the floor. Toby, a couple of steps. Now they feed it up. Headed away by Frick. And Tobin clears it ahead. Kia in a race with Lugris and the ball squirts free. Lipka clear, or rather Orff clears to midfield. Condridge heads it ahead for Steve Frick. Frick left side in the Fort Wayne zone around Alioto. He shoots, no. Rebound knocked away. Kia couldn't quite find it in time. Long lead for Killingsworth. It's too far. And Swanner clears to midfield. It's taken back there by Lugris for Fort Wayne. Dumps it off on the left side to Dewars. His pass hits Lugris in the back of the head. Alioto, who was the intended receiver of that pass, eventually got it in the right side. Kia hounded him on D, and they back it up in the goal area to Orr. Kia comes back on him. Outlet, Alioto, he collides with Frick, and Frick runs into Alioto. That'll be the fourth foul on Canton. That was a good call. Killingsworth, right side. Working on Pisano, 349 in the period. He shoots, Oscar blocked the shot. Tobin tried to clear, Lugris got it, he shoots no. And you've got another foul, the fifth one on the Invaders, and I'm not really sure who they called it on. I only saw, I did not see a foul. I've, of the five that have been called on Canton, I've only seen two that I can really say were, were fouls. Fort Wayne put the kick in the stage anyway, and it'll be a goal kick for the Invaders. 3.43 to play in the first period. Canton three, Fort Wayne one. Wayne Jennis on the Invader bench. Uh, he and Don Tobin handling the coaching. Wayne Jennis in the absence of Trevor Dawkins. Wayne has already had two power plays in the game, but the Invaders have outscored him on those power plays, two to one. Two shorthanded goals uh, by Art Kramer, one of which Artie gets credit for after DiBernardo inadvertently stuck it in his own net. Goal kick Canton, Swanner with the ball, and he picks it up in the goal box. They clear out long. Jamie ahead for Pikasinski. Rudy off the boards trying to get inside Noonan, has to chase the ball back, and O'Keefe over to double team. Took it away for Fort Wayne ahead to Noonan. Now DiBernardo, and now this is uh, Bodenstein. His lead for DiBernardo too far. O'Keefe holding Paxos, and they call that one. That's the third, fourth foul, rather, on Fort Wayne. 318 to play in the first period. Invaders three, Flames one. Tima back in the goal box for Swanner. Swanner will come out with it, ball on the floor. Basil comes up to pick him up. Jamie tries to move around him, and the ball knocked free. Jamie hustles back to the net. Basil shot, and Swanner up in the air to come down with that one. Basil got away with a push on Swanner that they didn't call. And here comes Basil again, left side. Tima back on D, shot wide, and Swanner grabs it and holds on just before the ball was going to pop out of the box. Outlet left side to Art Kramer, 245 in the first period. Mike Paxos. And on the right side of the goal box is Swanner. Swanner to come out. And Jamie will be able to cross the red line unmarked. Swanner still holding the ball. 2.29 to play. Fake the shot. Now sends it long. Airborne on the right side for Pikasinski. Bodenstein able to cut inside him on the boards and dump it in the goal box for Otto Orff. Warren Lipka started and played 5.52. Gave up three quick goals. And Orff has replaced him in the Fort Wayne goal. Bodenstein, left side midfield, back to DiBernardo. Right side of the midfield circle. Picked up at the Canton red line by Celestin. Now it's Basil, left side. Back to Dewars. He winds, he fires. Swanner able to save that. Couldn't control the rebound. It squirts out in the corner. Dewars took it away from Kramer. But obstruction called on Dewars to get to that. That's the fifth foul on Fort Wayne. So each team now with five fouls. A minute 54 to play in the first period. Art Kramer. Left side at midfield. Taken down by Dewars. That's the sixth foul. 
No, no, no six foul because he pulled the blue card. I think Dewarst is going to get a boarding call, and then they will still have five fouls. So that means that they, if they commit the sixth foul, they could go two men down. Art Kramer was hit into the boards pretty good by Dewarst, and the Invaders will go on the power play. And if they draw the sixth foul, they could go two men up. 13-12, the time of the penalty. This will be the first man advantage situation for Canton. On the year, 29 goals, 66 power play attempts, 44%. Fort Wayne penalty killers have been pretty good, 79%. They've given up just 12 goals in 57 man down situations. The Invaders uh, have a chance here with a minute 48 in the quarter to possibly put them two men down. There's a shot knocked away. And there's the sixth foul on the Invaders in the box. And it was another cheap one by Terry Campbell against Rudy Pekosinski. There have been three fouls called on Rudy, and they've all been terrible calls. So the Invaders will, commit, will go down with another penalty. not sure what there's what those fans down below are saying time of this penalty will be 13 18 third penalty of the period on the invaders so we'll play four on four Fort Wayne would only have one minute one six second period of man advantage the way this goes but they've got a minute 39 to go of their own to avoid drawing their own sixth foul O'Keefe in the Canton defensive zone, working against Tima, back out the red line, around one, Timmy takes him down in the corner, wall pass deflected by Tima. O'Keefe got it back, shoots wide to the right, and Frick in a race with Lugris after the loose ball. Frick will get there first. Basil knocked him down, gave him an elbow in the face, no call. Basil, he fires, and an easy save for Swanner. They call a touch foul on Rudy, and Basil throws an elbow in Frick's face and doesn't get the call. Steve Frick dribbling the ball around at midfield, trying to get inside Alioto. Sliding play by Alioto to knock it loose. 55 seconds in the quarter. Penalties won't expire until next period, early in the quarter. Jamie Swanner, long lead for Condridge. Tomo in the Fort Wayne defensive zone. Down in the left corner. Tomo moving across the floor. He got open. He shoots. Good play by Orff. Rebound. Frick. He shoots. And a good play by Orff again, going down and got the left hand on it. And Orff able to control off the feed from Alioto. Long lead intercepted by Tima. And ahead to Kramer. Kramer, 26 seconds. Tima, middle of the floor. And he shoots. And he just missed Frick on the left post. Fricky chases the rebound back outside. 18 seconds. Frick. Moving around. A ball taken away by Lugris. Kramer tries to help out. Artie took it back. He winds. He fires. Good play by Orff again out front. Five seconds in the period. And Orff will control, and that will be it for period number one. With a score, the Canton Invaders three, the Fort Wayne Flames one, back in a minute. We'll play four on four for 12 seconds. Fort Wayne will have a man advantage for six seconds, for what that's worth, and then uh, we'll be back to five on five. Pisano is again serving the invader penalty. He's spent more time there, I think, than he did on the field in the first quarter, being called for one and serving two bench penalties. Steve Frick, midfield for Canton. Fort Wayne penalty being served by Dewar. Well, the foul was on Dewarst. He had to serve it. And Kramer trying to get around Alioto. Ball knocked away. Condrich has it at midfield, but Alioto got it back for Fort Wayne. Both penalties are over, and both teams are back at full strength now. Invaders lead 3-1. We're in the second quarter. Alioto, ball knocked away by Kondrich, and Alioto dumps it back in. Again, Kondrich intercepts and got held that time by Porcinitis, and that'll be the first foul of the period on either team. Tima ahead, Oscar Pisano, picked up by Killingsworth at the Canton Red Line. Oscar, forward for Tobin. Luger stepped in front and took it away. Fort Wayne, three on three. Porcinitis, left side. Steve Maurer into the game for Canton. And ahead it is Lugris, and they drop the ball back at midfield. Noonan sends it forward for Porcinitis in the corner, trying to get inside Condridge. 
Back to the net. Tobin over to double team. Porcinitis slaps it in weakly, and Maurer clears around the boards for Tobin. Tobin airborne midfield. Noonan will chase that down in the Fort Wayne end. Heads it into Orff. It's a good thing he headed it into Orff in the box, because if it had been outside the box, I think Kia would have ended up with it. Dewurst outlet midfield. Lugris had some trouble with that. Knocked away by Tobin, taken by Maurer. And Maurer midfield. Here comes uh, Oscar Pisano. Pisano into the Fort Wayne zone around the left side. Around one, ball knocked away by Dewurst. In a race, Dewurst and Maurer in the corner. And Dewurst spins away and dumps it in the goal box for Orff. 13-22 to play in the first half. Canton 3, Fort Wayne 1. Otto Orff still in the goal box for Fort Wayne. Flames are changing lines. And a long lead knocked up in the air by Pisano. And Tobin dumps it in the goal box for Swanner. Ron Basil checking in on Swanner. Outlet right side of Pisano. Back to Jamie in the goal box. They played a little more than two minutes of period number two. Swanner outside the red line. Long lead. Maurer in the corner. Wall pass for Tobin behind him a little bit. Noonan clears to O'Keefe for Fort Wayne. Dan O'Keefe ahead. Noonan had to wait in the ball a second at midfield. Now he taps it ahead. Di Bernardo on the run. Middle, he shoots. Oh, what a play by Swanner. I don't think he saw that shot by Basil. It just hit Jamie right in the chest. And it ball is loose outside. And Di Bernardo trying to do some business in the left point for Fort Wayne. Back at midfield to Bodenstein. Bodenstein wanted O'Keefe, knocked away by Kondrich. That should have been a handball. It is a handball on Basil. Second foul on Fort Wayne in the period. Swanner able to get a save off the point blank shot by Basil. I think Jamie was following the pass. I don't really think he saw that shot until it hit him in the chest. But it didn't go in, and that's the important thing. Pisano, back in the box. Swanner picks it up. 12-15 in the first half. Long lead for Magic. Celestin got around Di Bernardo up the right side. And Magic takes it into the boards, trying to move inside. Feeds Pikasinski. Couldn't get enough of a piece of it. Rudy coming through the box like he was shot out of a cannon. Got a piece of the ball, but not enough. Noon in the other way for Fort Wayne. Now it's Di Bernardo at midfield. Kramer hounded him. And the ball intercepted by Pisano. Here come the invaders, four on three. Pisano with Kramer to his right and Magic and Rudy to his left. Magic, Pikasinski, and Rudy whiffed on the feed. He wanted Kramer on the post. And Rudy has to chase it back in the corner. Back outside it comes to the Magic man. Celestin, ball deflected and taken away at midfield. And Basil trying to steal, and Rudy couldn't get it back. Noonan comes the other way. I head to O'Keefe. It's too far. Swanner outlet. Noonan gets it back at midfield. Now O'Keefe. Paxos back on D for Canton. O'Keefe around one. He shoots. And a kick save and a dandy by Jamie Swanner. Swanner stomping around the net, trying to direct some traffic. Not happy that he had to make that one. 11.09 to play in the first half. And Pikasinski knocked it away at midfield, controlled by Magic ahead to Tima. Tima for Kramer. Kramer inside Alioto, trying to put a move on left side. And Artie instead will back it up. He wants Rudy. Rudy shoots. He scores! Invaders lead 4-1. Now, did that hit Kramer, or did that hit the inside of the right post and go in? Pick Kaczynski gets the goal. That's what I thought. And Rudy with the goal. Kramer the assist. Six, the time of that goal. Pikasinski, goal number 26 on the year. Kramer has his third point of the night and his eighth assist on the season. And our contestant this quarter, Dwayne Brugger, you are a winner. You've got the tickets. There's a shot by Lugris high. And here come the invaders in the counterattack. Two on one if they hurry. Magic with Rudy. Pikasinski trying to move around. Orff does. If he can get Magic, he's got a shot. And it's knocked away. And Orff just did get it back before Rudy was coming in after the loose ball. Dwayne Brugger of Paris, you've got the two tickets, you've got the dinner certificate and the coffee mug. Congratulations. We'll do the contest again in the third quarter. Invaders lead 4-1, to 10-03 to play in the first half. Porcinitis for Fort Wayne, working against Mike Paxos against the right sideboards, and Paxos will get whistled for obstruction. First foul on the Invaders in the period. Lugris to put it in play 
And Tima got inside Killingsworth. Lost the ball. Tima tries to clear. It's knocked free in the corner. Tobin controls for Canton. Bounces it over Lugris, but he put it in the crowd in section 13. Fort Wayne will put it back in play. Touchline right side in the Canton defensive zone, and both teams will use the timeout to change lines. Super Bowl 21 on Sister Station, 1480 WHBC. Bob Costas with the pregame show at 5 o'clock and the kickoff from Pasadena at 6. Hope you'll be with us. Don Crickey and Bob Trumpy providing the radio play-by-play -play for Super Bowl 21. Odenstein didn't hit O'Keefe with a pass, and DiBernardo flags it down out front. Now Noonan, and he put it in the crowd. It'll be a goal kick for Canton. We wish it were the Browns, but it's not. But it's still the Super Bowl, the Giants and the Broncos. And maybe next year it'll be Bernie and the boys. 9.38 to play in the first half. The Invaders lead 4-1. to one. Swanner, outlet, left side, Tom Condridge. Tomo, back to Swanner in the goal box. O'Keefe with token pressure. Jamie picks it up, long lead. Key up the right side, working against Noonan in the Fort Wayne zone. Back out front to Tobin. Clears it off the boards. O'Keefe got in front of Frick. And here comes Fort Wayne the other way. O'Keefe pushes it ahead on the left side to Di Bernardo. Sliding play to, by Tobin to clear it to Kia. Kia trying to get around noon, and he does. He got a two-on-one if they hurry. Kia to Frick. Left side. Fricky wants the feed. Knocked away. Kia jumped on top of Orff. They both go down. And Orff flags down the loose ball. That looked like roller derby in front of the Fort Wayne net. 8.56 to play. Long lead for Basil. Too far. Pisano stepped in front. Pisano trying to get inside. Di Bernardo does. He feeds. Oh, he got in front of Kia up the left side. Kia couldn't get there in time. And the loose ball taken by Bodenstein. And Fort Wayne looks a little shaken. Every time they get control, they look around to, like, okay, now what's going to happen here? Instead of trying to run their offense. Basil goes down and Frick goes down and the trip goes against Frick. Two, two fouls on each team in the period. 8.32 to play in the first half and the Invaders lead it 4-1. to one. O'Keefe ball deflected by Condridge, taken by Tobin. His lead for Kramer is too far and Bodenstein will flag that down in the Fort Wayne end. Kramer has scored twice for Canton along with Condridge and Pikasinski and O'Keefe has the Fort Wayne goal. Long lead, Lugers tried to head it in for Porcinitis, but Swanner caught the pass on the fly. Quick outlet on the left side to Kramer. Here they come three on two. Hardy to, to Rudy, through the box, score, Don Tobin! And Pikasinski will get the assist, it's five to one. Don Tobin gets his eighth goal of the year. Rudy Pikasinski will pick up his 14th assist. Time of the goal. 6.52 and the Invaders lead 5-1. to one. <laughs> Halftime guest tonight, Invader Captain Tim Tima. And with the ball right side at midfield for Fort Wayne, Mark Lugris. Swanner out of the net to lock the lead pass away and it'll be a three-line violation. Take it back to the Canton red line with 7.57 to go in the period. Lugris to put it in play. Dumps it inside and it goes right through everybody into the waiting hands of Swanner. Jamie will put it on the floor. He wanted the quick outlet, didn't have it. I head to Kramer. Kramer taps it back. Mike Paxos ahead for Pikasinski and the ball knocked away from him by Alioto and now it's Lugris at midfield for Fort Wayne. Tell you who the AISA All-Stars are at halftime too. Run down the standings. Tima tries to hit it. Kramer killings where it shoots and scores. Timmy had a little trouble handling it, and Killingsworth puts the Fort Wayne goal on the board. Former Invader gets his ninth goal of the year. Time of the goal, 7.27 of the second period. I would think that would be unassisted. Not either a power play or a penalty kick. The other seven have been either the power play or the penalty kick route for Don Tobin. His eighth of the year comes even up. Five two invaders with a lead. A lot of time left in the first half. Kia drops it back to Tobin. Long lead ball for Frick. 
Frick in the corner trying to get it in the box does but it's uh, caught by Orff. Long lead for Basil. It hit Pisano in the heel. Basil gets it back at the red line for Fort Wayne. Feeds it out front and nobody home there and they dump it back. O'Keefe couldn't control. Swanner short outlet on the right side to Condridge. And back in the goal box to Jamie Swanner. 7.08 to play in the first half. 5-2 invaders. Swanner out across the red line and he put that one in the stage, tried to hit Kramer, clearing up the left side. That one scattered the troops in the corner and we'll go back uh, to the Fort Wayne goal box for a goal kick. Glad to have you with us tonight. Another contest quarter. We'll tell you again in the third period this evening. You would like to be a part of uh, next time we run the contest, next Wednesday night from Memphis. Send a postcard with your name, address, and phone number to Lucky Invader Fan. Care WHBC Radio, Box 9917, Canton, Ohio. And the zip code, 44711. DiBernardo midfield ahead, Bodenstein. Bodenstein left side. Backs away from Tobin. Clears it in the midfield circle to DiBernardo. Knocked away by Kia. And Noonan will flag that down on the Fort Wayne end. Noonan left side to DiBernardo. And ahead to O'Keefe, hounded by Condrich in the midfield circle. Now it's Noonan again. Noonan forward for Basil. Basil to DiBernardo to O'Keefe. O'Keefe turn, spin, shot. Good play by Swanner to slap that away. Basil outside the corner. Drives in, shot blocked by Tobin. Basil got it back. They want O'Keefe. He turns and Condrich rides him away. Didn't get anything on it. Pisano clears it out for Canton. And Bodenstein with a sliding play to knock it away from Kia, but Oscar sliding play. Knocks it to Frick at midfield. Here come the invaders three on three. Frick to Kia, and Orff comes out to slap it away from Kia. And Frick is hammered by Noonan. And that's the third foul on Fort Wayne. Invaders will put it in play. Touchline left side in the Fort Wayne defensive zone. Don Tobin, the trigger man here. Toby looking inside. Frick clears in the corner. They back it out on the point to Pisano. Now Tobin, and it's loose, and Orff scoops it up in the goal box. Orff, long lead, and Condridge stepped in front of O'Keefe, and here come the invaders the other way. Condridge across midfield, across the red line, left side Tobin. Tobin down in the corner, trying to get inside Noonan. Now it's Kia. Kia is getting held by DiBernardo. And the whistle blows, and that's the fourth foul on Fort Wayne. Kick in from the left corner. Tobin will do the honors for the invaders. Frick cuts through the box. Kia backs up on the backside. They get it outside Pisano to Kia. Kia winds, fires hard off the glass. No. Rebound outside to Tobin off his chest and taken away. And Porcinitis controls at midfield for Fort Wayne ahead to DiBernardo. DiBernardo, midfield circle. Left side it comes to Alioto just off the Fort Wayne bench. Alioto ahead. Wall pass. No. Behind everybody. And Kia's got it for Canton. Out at the red line. Kia trying to get around Alioto does now the spin move drop it back to Don Tobin 506 to play in the half and Swanner out of the net clears it out to midfield nobody home there the invaders changing lines and Alioto has it in the Fort Wayne end and the flames come back the other way Alioto Canton red line in the corner Killingsworth knocked away by Pisano Lugris will flag it down left side at midfield for Fort Wayne 445 to play in the second quarter invaders 5 Fort Wayne 2 Lugris back to the Fort Wayne red line. Now back outside the goal arc to Otto Orff. Orff will come outside his own red line. He wants the long feed. Orff comes out almost to midfield and now just taps it over on the right side to Alioto. Alioto around Pikasinski ahead to Porcinitis. Porcinitis working on Tima in the right corner. Wall pass. Good play by Paxos to shield Killingsworth away from that. And the pass for Rudy is intercepted by Alioto. Alioto shot rejected by Celestin. And Celestin clears ahead to Kramer. You got two on one if they hurry. Kramer with Rudy. Nope, Alioto got back on D. And Artie wisely backs it up to the Magic Man. 4.03 in the half. Celestin right side at midfield. Through the box. Here comes uh, Kramer. And the ball knocked away by Alioto. But Killingsworth couldn't control. Deflected by Celestin. Killingsworth got inside Tima. Fort Wayne on the attack. Lugris up the left side of the floor. Down in the corner. Swanner knocks it away. And Jamie out on the floor with it outside the box. Passes around Rudy and around Durst, and Orff ends up with it at the other end. 338 and a half. Lugris right side at midfield across the Canton red line now. Picked up by Celestin, and Lugris will back it up a little bit. 
Tommy Muller up into the game for the first time on defense for Fort Wayne. O'Keefe on the right side. Wants Basil. Give and go, O'Keefe. And Rudy rode him away just enough. Swanner took a shot in the box, and they get the outlet ahead to Pikasinski. Pikasinski had the ball knocked away by Muller up at the other end, and now Orff controls. 3.05 to play in the half. Here comes B. Bernardo. Once O'Keefe knocked away. Basil got it back, shoots, and <laughs> Swanner just did get that, scissored it, and caught it, and kind of almost sat on it to keep it from going in. And the outlet, here's Pikasinski. Kramer crosses. They drop it back at midfield to Tobin. 2.45 in the half. Tobin to Kramer. Kramer working against Noonan. And bad pass taken away by DiBernardo. Here comes Fort Wayne the other way. Into the Canton zone. DiBernardo across the red line. Around Paxos. He shoots. Swanner with a relatively easy save. And the outlet short on the left side to the lad from Liverpool, Don Tobin. Long lead. Timo on the break. Orff the slide to knock it away. Knocked it out of play. Should be two minutes. And they don't call it. That should have been delay of game. They've called that on us I don't know how many times this year. And that was pretty flagrant that Orff just dumped it in the crowd to avoid the breakaway. Tima and Tobin pointing that out to Terry Campbell, but nobody ever accused Terry of being consistent. 2.22 left. Invaders will put it in play. Tobin down in the corner for Kia. Wanted Frick out front. The ball taken away by Killingsworth. And Port Wayne coming the other way. Ahead to Porcinitis. Porcinitis right side at the red line. Dumps it in. Killingsworth. Swanner out to try to confront. And uh, Timo, or rather Frick over to help out. Killingsworth through a crowd. Pass intercepted by Kia. Taken by Tima. Ahead to Frick. Frick left side trying to get around. Muller up does. Orf out of the net to try to knock it away. But it's taken back by Tobin. He shoots. And it hits Muller up in the back. Loose out front, Alioto will clear it out. They had more luck than sense there because Muller up was just clearing up the floor and Tobin shot into the open net, hit him in the back. Orff was way out of position. Minute 43 left in the half. Swanner controls the loose ball in the Canton end. Long lead for Frick taken away by Lugris at midfield. Keel gets some floor burns off of that slide that he didn't get the, the shot on. And Killingsworth knocked away by Kia, taken back by Dewarst at midfield and they clear back in the Fort Wayne end to Orff. Orff clears, oh, Frick with a deflection, but he went down to get it. And taken away, Killingsworth knocked it right to Kia. He shoots. It's blocked by Orff into the corner. And Dewars clears ahead to DiBernardo. And now Killingsworth. And Kenny forgot that he and Kia weren't on the same team anymore. He knocked it right to Kia. <laughs> DiBernardo in the Fort Wayne end and one minute to go in the first half. I had to... <laughs> O'Keefe and back to DiBernardo, right edge of the midfield circle. And the ball knocked away by, from Basil by Pisano. Condridge to Oscar, ahead to Tobin, 45 seconds in the period. Tobin, lead for Kia. Kia shoots and put it in the stage. Goal kick for Fort Wayne, and the ball knocked uh, the front railing down off part of the stage. So a few folks will have unrestricted access to the aisle there until they replace the rail. 41 seconds to go in the first half. Invaders 5, Fort Wayne 2. And really, it could be a lot worse. Could be a lot worse. Otto Orff has not played at all poorly since coming in for Warren Lipka. But they still trail by three. Orff with the ball in the goal box. 34 seconds left in the half. Orff with a long lead for Bodenstein. Bodenstein takes it back in his own end to Orff. Orff's got a problem, and he clears it long to midfield. Paxos and Basil fight for it there. And Paxos trying to clear. Gets around Basil. Here we go. Three on two. Paxos lead, and he split Kramer and Rudy and knocked it right to Orff. Long lead the other way. Tima trying to clear, and it hits O'Keefe and goes out of play. With 12 seconds left, the Invaders will put it in play. Tim Tima will be our guest at halftime. 12 seconds remaining. The Invaders lead 5 to 2. I did not see the game in Tampa, first one we've missed all year, but from everything the guys told me, that's, this is a drastic improvement in just about every way. Magic back in the goal box for Jamie. Jamie picks it up. 7 seconds. Long lead for Kramer. And the ball deflected. Two seconds, one. That's the end of the period. 
It is halftime at the Civic Center with a score of the Canton Invaders 5 and the Fort Wayne Flames 2. Didn't have the support and every time the Invaders got a chance they put it in on him. Three quick ones. Right now that's the difference in the game. That's not the only difference. The Invaders were out playing Fort Wayne. They're out a good bit of that half. Shots are misleading. Um, really, uh, as we said, it could be worse than 5-2 if it were not for some good play by Orr. And Swanner has played well for the Invaders. Visiting team Fort Wayne controls the kickoff to start period three. Aliotto, right side Luger. Swanner out of the net aggressively to knock it away. And that one scattered the troops on the Invader bench. <laughs> Look at Timo over there saying, what are you doing to me? You almost picked Timo off. So, uh, Timmy and Jamie are roommates. Bad pass by Fort Wayne. Frick to Kia and back to Kondrich. And now Frick, and that was behind him and Lugris ahead to Killingsworth. Killingsworth in the Canton zone wall pass. Knocked away by Tobin. And Pisano will try to clear it out for the invaders. He tried to spin away from Lugris and ran right into Killingsworth. And Lugris ended up with the ball. Lugris knocks it wide. Swanner diving play didn't get it, but uh, neither did uh, Fleps. Fleps tries to center, and Swanner is there and grabs it and holds on for the Invaders. Drops it back to Kondrich. We've played 43 seconds of the second half. Janet Morton of Canton is our contestant this period. Looking for an Invader goal to make her a winner. Jamie Swanner outside the red line for Canton. Long lead off the left sideboards for Steve Frick. Taps it out of the point to Celestin. Celestin for Kia. Kia back to the net. Posted up. Alioto tried to get a piece of it. Did. Kia winds and shoots. And Alioto blocked it. And tries to clear. And it's chased down. It goes over the head of Paxos. Killingsworth the other way. He shoots. Oh, what a play by Swanner. Got the left hand of the ball off the breakaway shot by Ken Killingsworth. And here comes Kia. Kia ahead to Pekosinski. Rudy had it knocked away by Tommy Muller up, who didn't start the game, but has played a steady game on defense since coming in for Fort Wayne. DiBernardo backs it up. Orff around Kramer, outlet on the left side to Paul DiBernardo. Out of Indiana University, played for Louisville a couple of years ago. And DiBernardo with Rudy on the run, and the ball picked away by Pekosinski. And Celestin tried to get it around Bodenstein, couldn't do it. Bodenstein taken down by Paxos, and that's the first foul on the Invaders. First foul on either team. It comes with 13.08 to play in the third quarter. Basil shot saved by Swanner. On the first hop, a long lead ahead to Kramer. Kramer working on Noonan, right side at the Fort Wayne red line. And Artie backs it up at the Canton stripe to Mike Paxos. Paxos, right side midfield to Celestin. Primo line back together after a hiatus for a while. Pekosinski, Kramer, and Celestin. Tima and Paxos on D. Noonan intercepts a pass up in front of the arc ahead to DiBernardo for the Flames. 12.39 to play in the third quarter. And Basil, I don't think, knew where that pass was coming from, and Tima clears. Paxos trying to get it out of the zone. Backs it away from Basil ahead to Celestin. Celestin taps it over on the left side at midfield to Art Kramer. Artie backing it up away from Noonan and in the goal box for Swanner. Taps it out right side to Tima. Tima ahead for Rudy. Rudy in the Fort Wayne zone, and he leaves it in the corner for Celestin. Celestin wants somebody out front. He's got Kramer back to Celestin. And Magic comes out of the corner with it ahead to Kramer. Kramer, a couple of steps in, down to the corner. Wall pass. Rudy scores. I think that hit, that may go to Artie. I think that hit Orff in the back and went in. That would be a hat trick for Art Kramer. And the Invaders lead 6-2. And Janet Morton of Canton, you're a winner. You got the tickets, you got the dinners, you got the t-shirt from Ohio Health Choice Plan, and the Invaders got a 6-2 lead. Time of the goal is 2.57 of the third period. And for Kramer, a hat trick goal. Third of the night for Kramer, his 15th goal of the season. And unassisted on the goal by Kramer. And there's an interception at midfield by Condridge ahead to Frick. Frick, he winds, he fires, Orff lost the ball, and Moeller up just did tap it in. Frick, he was about ready to bounce his own rebound in. Here comes Lugris the other way. 
Lugris across the can red line. Ball taken away by Don Tobin to Condrich. Back in the box for our Jamie Swanner. Outlet, right side midfield for Kia. Kia getting inside Alioto. Spins to the middle of the floor. He feeds Frick. Frick trying to move on Muller up. On the right side, the pass for Tobin. Knocked away. It's loose. Kia with a point-blank shot, and it was uh, controlled by Otto Orff. Orff almost got uh, some facial features rearranged with that one. And here is Muller up at the other end for the uh, Fort Wayne Flames. And nobody home in the left corner off that feed. Condridge dumps it in the goal box for Swanner. 11-10 to play in the third quarter. Long lead for Frick up the right side of the floor. Working against Muller up. Now Don Tobin ahead to Kia. Kia posted out in front of the arc. Back to the net. Tobin left side to Frick. Fricky again the post up and they feed it back to Condridge. Now Kia. Kia on the left corner. Alioto taps it away and here comes Lugris on the attack for Fort Wayne. Lugris trying to back away from Kia and uh, dumps it in the Fort Wayne zone to Noonan. Outlet on the right side at midfield to Bodenstein. Bodenstein inside, long lead. The pass is behind Noonan. Coming the other way is Pisano. Pisano working on uh, Di Bernardo. Slows things up a little bit. And back in the invader zone, it comes to Tom Condrich on the left side to Don Tobin. 10.25 to play in the third period. Tobin for Kramer. Kramer's got three. Once four. He shoots. It's blocked. Kramer feeds again. And it's controlled in the goal box by Noonan and then grabbed by Orr. Ahead to Di Bernardo. Di Bernardo, left side midfield, through the circle on the right side to Bodenstein. Bodenstein down in the corner. Swanner out of the net to knock that away. And he knocked it up and out of play. And okay. That could have been delay, but we got some consistency. They didn't call it on Orff earlier. They don't call it on Swanner. So we'll congratulate the officials on that. They At least they were consistent. Now if we can just do it from game to game, we may have something here. Bodenstein to put it in play for Fort Wayne. Kramer rejects it, and it's flagged down at midfield. Bodenstein picked up by Kramer again. Already playing himself a heck of a game tonight. There's a shot. Oh, good play by Swanner off the header by Basil. Jamie Swanner is playing himself a game tonight, too. Long lead for Pikasinski, taken away by Noonan. And Noonan with it at midfield for Fort Wayne. Didn't see Kramer, now did at the last minute. And clears it ahead to Danny O'Keefe. O'Keefe working on team, a Rudy to double team. Kramer came in from behind, too. Lenny Armuth back at midfield. Now on the left side, Bodenstein. 9.32 to play. Bodenstein picked up by Rudy at the red line, and they'll back it up in their own end. And the goalkeeper, uh, Otto Orff, controls there. Now Tommy Muller up. Invaders by four, 6-2. Both our contest players win tonight. Long lead midfield, knocked away by Paxos. Celestin. Trying to steer around Lugris and instead feeds ahead to Rudy. Rudy got around Armuth. Rudy around the second guy. He shoots. Kick saving a dandy by Otto Orff. And the rebound comes out to Magic Celestin on the left point. Celestin to Rudy. He shoots. He scores. Beautiful move by Pikasinski. He did not take the first shot he had. He made Orff commit. Once he had him on the floor, he pulled the ball back away and rammed it home. And the Invaders lead 7-2. Time of the goal, second of the night for Rudy. He's got 27 on the year. It's at 6.07 in the third period. The Invaders lead 7-2. And Celestin will get the assist. And for the Magic Man, that is assist number three on the season. He now has seven points. Fort Wayne down by five. Seven to two, the Invaders trying to put this one away early. Swanner, long lead. Steve Frick working against Muller up. And the pass hit off the boards and went in the Fort Wayne bench. And the Flames will put it in play. Lugris will put it in for Fort Wayne. 8.37 to play in the third quarter. The Invaders lead seven to two. Lugris, long lead. It's too far for Killingsworth, headed out by Condridge. Steve Moyer's in for the first time for Canton. Horse Fleps with the ball for Chicago, working on Pisano. Fleps, wine spires, no. Killingsworth couldn't get to the feed. Lugris comes back out front. Moyer's knocked it away from him. Fleps in the corner, ridden away from the ball by Pisano. And uh, Oscar was sent sprawling as he tripped over Swanner. 
That'll get about an 8.9 in the Olympic scoring system. And coming the other way is Moyers. Drops it back. Tobin airborne for Steve Frick. Bodenstein heads it away from him. And Ludris controls at the red line and pops it in the goal box for Otto Orff. Orff cannot pick that up. And so he'll have to come out with it. Or Moyers up to confront him, but he gets it ahead to O'Keefe. All right, that's Horst Pleps. I'm sorry. And they drop it back now. Bodenstein, 7.40 to play in the third quarter. Long lead. Pisano heads it away from Pleps. Ahead for Moyers. Moyers working on Muller up. Uh, that's Noonan. Moyers and Noonan against the boards. And holding called on Noonan. Team fouls even at one apiece. Oscar Pisano, midfield. Ball knocked away by Killingsworth. And now Pisano gets the push. Oscar always looks so innocent when he does that. But that was a good call. 7.27 to play in the third quarter. 7-2, like, who, me? you got to be kidding, ref. I'd never do that. <laughs> Tom Alioto, right side at midfield for Fort Wayne. And back to Otto Orff. He's got a problem. Gets around Frick. And Frick took the ball away. He had to chase it back to midfield, though, and Tobin has it now. That gives Orff time to get back in the net. Toby to Frick. Frick trying to move to the right side, and they dropped it back for Kondrich. And Tomo steers it back to Moyers at midfield, and now back in the Canton end for Swanner. Swanner airborne, that's over three lines, and we'll take it back to the Canton red line with 6.57 to play in the third quarter. And Forsenitis didn't put it in play from the spot, so we'll do it again. Now Alioto will start things off for Fort Wayne into Forsenitis, and he tries the shot blocked by Pisano. And Frick clears out to Moyers, off the boards, back to Don Tobin. And again, ahead to Steve Moyers. Moyers back to Tobin. The pass hit Muller up in the heel. And you got a holding call, I think, on Moyers. And that's the third foul on the Invaders in the period, and Fort Wayne will put it in play. Touchline right side, just outside the Invader red line. 6.43 to go in the third quarter. The Invaders up comfortably right now, 7-2. Alioto to kick it in for Fort Wayne. And he dumps it in the corner. Knocked away by Kondrich. And Tomo controls off the boards. Tomo up uh, the floor in a foot race with Killingsworth. Spins. Let's Killingsworth clear by and backs it up at the Canton red line to Oscar Pisano. Pisano ahead for Steve Moyers. Moyers working on Muller up and back to Kondrich. Kondrich over to Celestin, the magic man, outside the midfield circle. And back to Tima. Invaders changing lines here. Now Kondrich, Tomo on the attack. Around Muller up to Kramer, he's open. And he fires through the box and Magic couldn't quite get the pass a little ahead of him. Celestin backs it up to midfield to Tim Tima. Tima for Mike Paxos. Manny Gordy in for Fort Wayne. Paxos, left-footed shot saved by Orff. He had gotten around Gordy on the play, but Orff was in good position in front of the net. 5.51 to play in the period. Otto Orff. Out in front of the arc. Pikasinski with a steal, and Orff will get two minutes. That could be a penalty kick. As Orff obstructs Rudy, the Invaders will go on the power play, and I don't think... Well, let's see. I don't know if they're going to give him the penalty kick or not. I don't think so. Time of the penalty, 9-17. I don't know. That's very close to being a penalty. Happy with the boys if he was here. We wish you a speedy recovery if you're at home listening, Coach. Invaders to go on the man advantage. Power play unit, Les Scarelli in with Kia, Rudy, Tobin, and Pisano. Tobin, midfield. Here's Scarelli on the left point, now Tobin. Toby, a couple of steps in, back to Scarelli. In the corner, left side to Kia. And back out front to Lesh. Back over to Tobin. And now Pisano on the right point, and now Tobin. He winds, he fires, good save by Orff. And Bodenstein will try to clear, and it's blocked by Scarelli. Bodenstein double teamed by Scarelli and Rudy. And Lesh will get called for holding, and that's the second foul on the, or rather the fifth, fourth foul on the Invaders. A 
We have uh, a minute 12 seconds left in the penalty. As the invaders come back on the attack, Don Tobin to Oscar Pisano. Pisano to Tobin. Tobin out front, Rudy posted up. Pisano, he lets it go. And the wall pass out behind Rudy, and Tobin gets it back at the red line. Toby, couple of steps in. Left side of the point to Scarelli. Down in the corner to Kia. And Kia back out front to Don Tobin. Right side, Pisano. Pisano. 40 seconds in the penalty. Scarelli shot, scores! And Rudy should get the assist. And the Invaders lead 8-2. Power play goal by Les Scarelli. Rudy Pikasinski now has four points tonight, two goals and two assists. The time of the goal, 10-41. And the Invaders lead 8-2. Three straight goals in this period. And this one is history, unless it starts raining soccer balls. 4-19 in the third quarter. Still got the fourth quarter to go, but the way it's looking, admittedly, stranger things have happened, but this Fort Wayne team does not appear capable of coming back. We will be reminded that the Invaders blew a six-goal lead against Louisville. There is a difference between blowing six goals against Louisville and blowing six goals against Fort Wayne. Tima in the Invader, and it's headed in by Alioto. And Swanner out of the net, heads it around Porcinitis and clears to Kramer. And Kramer with Dewurst, and Dewurst dumps it back. And Kramer to Magic. Invaders on the attack again. Rudy out in front of the net to Kramer. He wants four, couldn't get it. Artie just couldn't quite control that pass. And Orff has it. Long lead. And Killingsworth in the Canton end. Knocked away by Tima, taken by Celestin. In the goal box for Swanner. Three and a half minutes to play third quarter. Mike Paxos out in front of the arc. Fort Wayne with high pressure. They really don't have any choice now. Down by six goals. And Swanner ahead to Kramer. Kramer on Alioto. Double teamed by Killingsworth. They get it back to Tima. And Tima over to Mike Paxos. Paxos clears, gets around Killingsworth on the break. Paxos up the left side. Wall pass blocked by Dewars. And Paxos double teamed there. And the foul goes against Fort Wayne. The push on Kenny Killingsworth. That's uh, three fouls on the, uh, two fouls on the Flames. Fort Wayne clears the other way. And you got two minutes coming up on somebody. And I believe it's going to be against uh, Fort Wayne. Unsportsmanlike conduct, and they may have gotten... Uh, or is, oh, it's against Canton. I guess they got Rudy. Maybe both of them. Pikasinski going in the Canton bench. And a yellow card has been issued. So Rudy sits down, time of the penalty, 12.05 of the third period. <laughs> Unsportsmanlike conduct, the call. And Fort Wayne will go on their third power play of the night. They have scored once in the previous two. The Invaders have scored twice in shorthanded situations in those two, however. Two fifty-five to go in the third period. The Invaders comfortably up eight to two. Fort Wayne will have a man advantage. Oh, okay. I wonder what the crowd was yelling. Was that ref be a bum? <laughs> ref be a bum. Okay, fine. Pekasinski gets a yellow card. In addition to the two minutes for unsportsmanlike conduct. De Bernardo, left side to Lugris. And back to DiBernardo. And now Alioto on the point. Killingsworth shot and he hit the post, hit the crossbar off the shot of Luger, of uh, O'Keefe. DiBernardo, left point. Lugris back to DiBernardo in the air in the corner for O'Keefe. And it hit O'Keefe in the hand. So send it back the other way. 
Minute 15 left in the penalty. Frick got behind DiBernardo at the other end. And then he backs it away, double teamed. Fricky trying to get inside. There's a foul on Alioto. And now the team fouls even at four apiece. Steve Frick to put it in play for the Invaders in the Fort Wayne end. A minute eight left in the penalty. Now it'll be Kramer. Kramer to Frick. They wanted Artie in the give and go. It was behind him. Lugris almost forgot the ball. Now he slips and falls. Taken away by Frick. Pushed from behind by DiBernardo. That's the fifth foul on Fort Wayne. Tima ahead to Frick. <laughs> the ball knocked away. Killingsworth controls for Fort Wayne. One minute left of the penalty. Here comes DiBernardo in the Canton zone. They're in the diamond. DiBernardo to Lugris. He winds. He fires. It's wide. And Kramer clears it out to midfield. Alioto chases it down there. 45 seconds the penalty. Alioto to Di Bernardo. Now Lugris on the left side. And Alioto in the corner. Wall pass knocked away by Tima. Timmy heads it forward and the invaders come back on the counterattack. Steve Frick up the left side around Di Bernardo. And he spins inside Di Bernardo. He's got room. Taken down on the trip by O'Keefe. No call. And here we go the other way. Here's Killingsworth up the left side. 15 seconds in the penalty. And O'Keefe out front. He shoots. Good save by Swanner. Kramer winds and spins and clears. And it goes in the invader bench on one bounce. Five seconds left in the penalty. And uh, Fort Wayne will put it in play at midfield. The invaders five seconds around now, four seconds away from killing this one off. And another second had gone off the clock. Invaders lead eight to two in the final minute of the third quarter. Biggest question here is can they hit double figures tonight? Basil to put it in play. And here is DiBernardo. Ahead to Alioto. DiBernardo shot. Good play by Swanner to slap that free. According to my calculations, the penalty should be over. I don't know why they haven't let Rudy out of the box. I'll keep with a shot, no. And another shot score by DiBernardo. Why was Pikasinski, or did they give him a second penalty on the yellow card? Did they give Rudy four minutes? They gave Rudy four minutes. Okay. So they get the power play goal by Di Bernardo after they killed off the first one. Basil gets the assist on the Di Bernardo goal. Time of the goal is 14:23 uh, of the third quarter. Power play goal for Fort Wayne. So Pikasinski ends up with four minutes on that penalty. And it's an eight to three game. Moyers drops it back to Tobin over to Pisano. And Oscar picked somebody off in the crowd. It's a heck of a way to meet a young lady. Uh, hit somebody in the side of the head with a pass, and Fort Wayne will put it in with 32 seconds left. Admit it does get their attention. Here's Basil in the Canton end. Ball knocked away by Condridge and taken by Tobin back in the goal box for Swanner. 22 seconds of the period, long lead Moyers. Moyers up to the right side of the floor, working on Noonan. Moyers with a feed for Frick, deflected. O'Keefe comes the other way for Fort Wayne. 12 seconds of the period, taken away by Moyers. Tried to get it ahead to Tobin. It was taken back by Bodenstein. They dump in the goal box for Orff. Outlet Noonan on the left side. Three seconds, 2-1, and the third period is history. The end of three, the Invaders eight. Fort Wayne one, back in a minute. Invaders lead eight to three, and we've got 15 minutes of soccer left here at the Civic Center before the guys prepare to take the rest of Super Bowl weekend off. The 
Invaders could extend their home field winning streak to 33 if they hang on to this tonight. They go to 12 and 0 this year and 16 and 5 overall in the season. Kramer, Pekosinski, Celestin, Tima, and Paxos for Canton. O'Keefe, Basil, DiBernardo, Bodenstein, and Noonan on the floor for Fort Wayne. Celestin ahead for Pekosinski. Pekosinski working on Noonan. And Rudy backs it up to midfield is Mike Paxos. Midfield circle to Celestin. Celestin for Pekosinski. Rudy working in the corner trying to get inside of Noonan. Spins, turns back to the net. Di Bernardo picks a pass away. And a trip call goes against Rudy, and that's the first foul on either team in the fourth quarter. We played 26 seconds of period four. The Invaders lead eight to three. Orff with a long lead, and it's a little too far for O'Keefe. Tima sends it ahead for Kramer, knocked away by Bodenstein. Back to O'Keefe and now back to Bodenstein at midfield. Di Bernardo, center of the floor at the red line. Moving in, Magic with a deflection, but Basil got it back for Fort Wayne. And Basil back out front. Noonan, ball knocked away by Paxos. And Basil dives over Pekosinski. How do you get a foul on Rudy on that? How in the world do you get a foul on Pekosinski on that? Chuck says, yes, I disagree, because he was held first. They've called, a, they've called several cheap ones on Rudy, and I, that was one of them. That was not a good call, I don't think. Yeah, I know, you put it in the thing. You gonna drive the car home, Chuck? No. No? Just to show that it could be done. <laughs> All right. 14.08 to play in the game. The Invaders lead 8-3. So unless things really change here, any calls that are made the rest of the night aren't going to matter. Di Bernardo to put it in play. Right side, Bodenstein with a move around one. He shoots wide to the left, and it goes in the crowd off the bounce off the boards. And they say it touched somebody by Canton. Uh, if it did, it was a fan. I don't know who that touched. <laughs> Must have been somebody in the front row there from Canton. That's close enough. Let's give the ball back to Fort Wayne. What the heck? They're down by five. <laughs> Can't be any question about that. That was a bad call. Yeah, there we go. Okay. De Bernardo will put it back in play for Fort Wayne. Through the box. Knocked away. And Kramer clears. De Bernardo got it back and put it in the cheap seats. They're going to give it to him again? No, they're not. <laughs> Started a point toward uh, giving the ball to Fort Wayne again. If he'd done that, uh, that got a nice round from section 11 if they called that one correctly. 13.58 to play. I don't like to get on them, but, you know, because we're winning the game by five, but boy, um, Terry Campbell has not had a good night. He really has not. He can be a very good referee. But uh, he has not been tonight. And when he has a bad one, it's usually a bad one, and it's having one right now. Fortunately, it hasn't affected the outcome. Swanner taps it over to Condridge and back to Jamie. Long lead, Steve Frick working on Muller up. Push off, no call, and they dump it in the box to Orff. Orff, long lead, and it steps inside and lands right at the feet of Forsenitis, shot it wide. And Porcinitis now and Pisano fight for it in the corner. They clear it outside to Muller up. Muller up. And it's headed up in the air by Frick. And you're going to get an obstruction on Pisano for getting in the way of Porcinitis in the box so that Swanner could take the ball. That's the third foul on Canton. Another questionable call. Lugris to Muller up. Wide to the right. And they clear it down in the corner, and Swanner clears it out to Steve Moyers. Moyers dumps it out to midfield, dumped back in, but Moyers with a steal away from Lugris, and here come the invaders on the attack. Tobin clears it down in the corner, nobody there, and Orff will clear, but he knocked it right to Tobin. Tobin trying to get inside Alioto, can't do it, and they clear it out to Mark Lugris, and Fort Wayne back the other way. 
Lugris ahead for Muller up. Muller up. Shot saved right into the stomach of Swanner. And Jamie long lead and it hits Lugris in the heel and comes back to Porcinitis. Porcinitis in the Canton zone. Picked up by Pisano. Moves left and leaves it for Lugris. Lugris backs outside. And uh, Bodenstein has it at midfield. And now DiBernardo. Outside to an open uh, shot. Score by Bodenstein. And it's 8-4. to four. Found the inside. Got it inside the shoulder of Swanner into the right corner of the net. And for Bodenstein, his seventh goal of the year. Time of the goal, 2.27. And the assist goes to DiBernardo. So Fort Wayne being down by six, they've cut it down to four now. And the invaders dump it down on the Fort Wayne end. Pikasinski trying to get away from Noonan. Noonan clears it in the box to Orff. Orff will come out with it. Kramer to apply pressure. They get it to DiBernardo at midfield and now Bodenstein. And it's knocked away by Pikasinski. And it goes over the glass and out of play. 12-12 left in the game. Kind of night Rudy's had in, uh, having. I'm surprised Campbell didn't call him for delay of game. 12-12 <laughs> left to play. The Invaders lead by four, 8-4. Otto Orff with the ball in the Fort Wayne goal area. He'll pick it up. And sends it ahead for O'Keefe. O'Keefe in the Canton zone working on Tima. And they back it out to Bodenstein. Bodenstein for Basil. Back to Bodenstein. Dumps it in the corner. Wall pass knocked away. Basil shot wide. And Tima controls the rebound and leaves it for Swanner. Swanner long lead for Art Kramer. Kramer working on Noonan down in the corner in the left side in the Fort Wayne end. Artie back out in the left point to Celestin. Magic man. Couple of steps in on Lugris to Pikasinski. Pikasinski and Bodenstein both go down. And uh, Noonan clears ahead to DiBernardo. DiBernardo ahead for O'Keefe. And O'Keefe to Basil. Basil, couple of steps in. Ball knocked away by Pikasinski. And they back it up at midfield. And this is Tommy Muller up. Muller up ahead for O'Keefe. O'Keefe moves away from Celestin and dumps it over to Alioto. And now Lugris on the left side. And he put it in the crowd. That'll be a goal kick with 11.07 left in the game. Invaders lead 8-4. to four. Swanner will put it in play from in front of the goal box. On the road next Wednesday in Memphis, home next Friday against Toledo, and on the road next Saturday against Tampa Bay. And keep your radio dial right here for all of them. Swanner taps it out to Kondrich. Back to Jamie in the goal box. He picks it up. Swanner, long lead. It's headed back by Killingsworth. And Jamie sends it out to midfield again. This time, Alioto heads it up in the air. Pisano knocks it away from Killingsworth. Alioto got it back for the Flames. Ahead to Lugris. Lugris left side, picked up by Tobin. Wall pass knocked away. And Condridge clears it out to midfield. Muller up, waits for it at the Fort Wayne red line. And Pisano knocks it away from Killingsworth off the head of Frick. Back to Pisano. Here come the invaders. On the attack, Pisano wanted Moyers. The pass was deflected and controlled at midfield by Porcinitis for Fort Wayne. And here comes Killingsworth off the feed by Lugris. Killingsworth back to Lugris. He shoots. No. Rebound cleared out to midfield. And Orff knocks it ahead. And coming the other way is Pisano. Here come the invaders on the attack again. Pisano with Moyers and Frick. And the ball blocked in. Frick fires. No. Rebound out front to Moyers. And it's cleared out to midfield. And Condridge chases it down there. 9.58 left in the game. Condridge, couple of steps in. And back in the midfield circle to Don Tobin. Tobin against Killingsworth, sends it long, and he wanted Frick, but it was wide and out of play. And Fort Wayne will put it in play in their own end. With 9.49 left in the game, and the Invaders leading 8-4. Kramer with a hat trick. Pikasinski has scored twice. 
And Condridge, Tobin, and Scarelli have the other Invader goals. O'Keefe, Killingsworth, DiBernardo, and Bodenstein have done the scoring for Fort Wayne. 9.49 left in the game. The Invaders lead by four, eight to four. And Fort Wayne will dump it in the goal box for Otto Orff. He picks it up. And now puts it back down on the floor. Outlet Bodenstein at the red line. Trying to get around Rudy Kramer over to help out. And they find Di Bernardo on the left side at midfield. And O'Keefe heads it in the corner for Bodenstein. Back outside to O'Keefe. O'Keefe with Kramer fronting him on D and Rudy helping out. They clear through the box. Basil can't get it. And Magic Celestin will come out with it. Celestin lost the ball back to Basil. And now Di Bernardo on the left point. And he dumps it in the corner. High up off the top of the boards. And Tima trying to move around Bodenstein. Heads it over to Kramer. Artie clears up the left side. Kramer on the run. Bodenstein stepped in front. He got a push. Now they called it on Kramer. That's four fouls on the Invaders, none on Port Wayne. 9.05 to play in the period. O'Keefe at the red line of Canton, working against Tima. On the attack, O'Keefe through the middle of the floor, backs it up, and Di Bernardo around one. He shoots, it's over the glass and out of play. Deflected by one of the Invaders, and it'll be a corner kick for Fort Wayne with 8.51. Left to play in the game. Canton eight, Fort Wayne four. Di Bernardo, the trigger man. Left side, the corner kick will come from. And now Di Bernardo steps away, and Alioto will put it in play for the Flames. Kramer, Celestin, Pikasinski, Tima, and Paxos for Canton. Alioto, Lugris, Killingsworth, Muller up. And Porcinitis for Fort Wayne. Shot block, shot score by Muller up. And Fort Wayne back to within three. At eight to five. Time of the goal, 6-14. For Muller up. It's his second goal of the year. And so. Killingsworth with the assist, his second point of the night. And so the Invaders habit of uh, not holding big leads is starting to come back and bite him again. A lot of time left, 8.46, and now they're only up by three. Pisano dumps it back in the goal box for Swanner. Swanner, long lead for Tobin. Tobin over to Pisano. Pisano ahead for Moyers. Moyers in the corner trying to get around a man and can't do it. Pisano knocks it away from Porcinitis, but Killingsworth controls back to Lugris. Lugris ahead for Killingsworth. Swanner out of the net to knock it away from him, and he clears it out to midfield. Lugris puts it up in the air. Orff heads it away from Frick, and coming the other way is Alioto. 8-12 left to play. Alioto in the corner. They try to center. It's blocked by Kondrich and taken by Pisano. And Pisano clears up the right side of the floor for the Invaders. Pisano across the Fort Wayne red line. Right side feed Condridge. Tomo fires, and it hit the underside of the crossbar. And the rebound knocked free, and you got a whistle, and it hit somebody in the hand. That's the fifth foul on the Invaders. None on Fort Wayne. It hit Oscar in the hand. 7.56 left in the game, and now the Invaders in danger of going short-handed. And the lead has been cut to three. It was six at the start of the quarter. And there's Frick with a steal. And he's ridden away from the ball. Frick and Orff collide. Orff is down. He's hurt. O'Keefe at the other end. He shoots. Blocked by Pisano. And now the whistle will blow as Otto Orff is still down. And will attend to the injured Fort Wayne goalkeeper with 7.37 left. So we hope that some of the things we were talking about in terms of the officiating doesn't have an effect. Uh, Seven thirty-seven left to play. We'll have a drop ball in the invader zone. Again, the invaders with a five fouls quickly, and that's a problem because you don't want to give Fort Wayne a power play. It's one thing to give it to him when you're up by six, but now when it's only three, it could create some problems.
Tobin and Dee Bernardo will face off on the drop ball, and it's dumped out to O'Keefe back at midfield to Noonan. Fort Wayne back on the attack. Bodenstein right side. The ball knocked away by Condridge, and Bodenstein took it back, but he knocked it right to Tobin. Ahead to Frick, knocked away by Noonan, and Basil controls at midfield for Fort Wayne. Ahead to Dee Bernardo. Flames on the attack. Dee Bernardo with Tobin. Back to Basil. Basil crosses out front, trying to get around Condridge. Now dumps it back out to Bodenstein. Moyers out on him. Dee Bernardo, middle of the floor, knocked away by Tobin. And a dangerous play on Tobin. There's the sixth foul and another cheap call. The officiating has quite frankly stunk tonight. And uh, another one goes against the Invaders. And now Fort Wayne goes in the power play again. Referees have done everything they could to let Fort Wayne back into this game in this quarter. And they found a way, it appears. Time of the penalty, 7.56 of the fourth. Of course, if you can kill it off, you don't have to worry about it the rest of the period, but if they score off this, they cut the lead to two. Okay, here we go again. Fort Wayne power play. They're one for three tonight, and they've given up two shorthanded goals. <laughs> Di Bernardo, middle of the floor. Now Basil on the left side. He shoots wide to the left. And the rebound comes out, and it's taken away. And Frick was held and no call, but he gets it back anyway, away from Alioto. Frick beats Di Bernardo in the corner, and he fires it right into the chest of Otto Orff. Orff controls for Fort Wayne. And they come back the other way with a minute 30 left in the penalty. Dump it down in the corner for Killingsworth, knocked away. And cleared back out, Di Bernardo, now Basil on the left side, picked up by Kramer. And Basil back out at midfield to Di Bernardo. He fires wide and hits a high bounce off the boards. And Basil controls there. And we have a minute five left in the penalty as Fort Wayne regroups at midfield. Di Bernardo now on the right side to Alioto. Alioto back to Di Bernardo. And the right side is Alioto. He winds, he fires, Swanner with a save and then scoops the rebound away after getting interfered with by O'Keefe. And Orff out of the net to knock it away from Frick. He clears it to Killingsworth. Killingsworth picked up by Tima. Kenny down around the middle of the floor, outside to Basil. Wall pass, Killingsworth, shot blocked by Condridge. Loose hit the post, score by O'Keefe. No, go no goal, they, will they blow it the other way. They will not, there was a foul on Fort Wayne and hit somebody in the hand before they scored, so the invaders get a break there. Tima wanted two minutes on that, and the way they've been calling him on Canton, uh, I can't fault him. We have 28 seconds left in the penalty. Swanner, long lead for Frick, and it's knocked away by Di Bernardo, and Alioto controls. Ahead to O'Keefe, back to Alioto. 16 seconds in the penalty. Lead for Basil. Basil in the left corner against Tima. Tima couldn't get the deflection. Di Bernardo outside. Inside Killingsworth wants the center and knocked away and coming outside. Alioto with a shot scores! And it's 8-6. One second was left in the penalty when they scored that goal. And Fort Wayne has cut it down to a two-goal margin. 9.55 the time of the goal. Alioto fifth goal in the season. And let's see, who got the assist on that? Basil. His second assist of the night, and it's 8-6. Fort Wayne connects on the power play. That's their third power play goal of the night. And it's starting to get to nail-biting time again here. The Invaders again with a big lead and having some trouble holding it. Loose out front in the Fort Wayne net. Orff got there just ahead of Moyers. And coming up the floor is Noonan for the Flames in the Canton zone, 454. Shot blocked by Pisano. Bodenstein has it back at midfield for the Flames. Forward line now is Maurer and Moyers with Tobin. Long lead, Swanner up in the air to get that in the goal box. Long lead for Don Tobin. Tobin working against Lugris at midfield. 
And Toby ahead to Maurer, back to Tobin, the give and go feed left side. He winds, he fires just wide to the right. 431 left in the game. Moyers working in the corner, trying to get away from Gordy. Back out on the point to Condridge. Into Maurer, he turns, knocked away, and Noonan controls the loose ball into the hands of Otto Orr. Outlet ahead to Mark Lugris. 417 left in the game, 8-6. Fort Wayne has scored four straight goals to get themselves right back in it. Alioto ahead midfield, knocked away by Condridge. It's over the head of Alioto. And Maurer in a race with him. Alioto able to head it into Orff. Pisano trying to get around, and the ball taken away by Condridge. Condridge around Forsonitis into the Fort Wayne zone. Condridge to Maurer, and it's Moyer scores! The Invaders back up by three on the Steve Moyers goal. Well, that was a long time coming. Time of the goal is 11.09. They're going to give it to Condridge. Okay, they give it to Condridge. Maurer gets the assist. Tomo, second goal of the night. And the Invaders lead 9-6 to six now. Loose at the other end, shot wide. And Celestin trying to get the rebound away from Muller. Up they clear to midfield to DiBernardo. DiBernardo over to Otto Orff. Orff ahead to Alioto. Three and a half minutes left in the game. Alioto, bad ball, knocked away by Kramer. And DiBernardo in a race gets around Celestin. Feeds to Basil. Basil in the corner. Wants the feed inside. It's wide. And Kramer chasing the rebound out. And lost it long. And uh, Orff waits for it at the Fort Wayne red line. They'll head to Alioto. 3.08 left in the game. Invaders by 3. 9-6. Tomo Kondrich with a pair of goals tonight. That matches his goal output for the whole season coming in. Scoring stats, not a measure of how valuable Tomo's been to this team, though. Kramer, ball knocked away, and here comes Magic. Celestin with Rudy clearing to the right. Magic around one, around two, taken down, and coming the other way is Muller up for Fort Wayne. 2.38 left in the game. Muller up. Over to Basil, back to Noonan. Invaders by three. And it's DiBernardo, right side of the point. Killingsworth looking for a feed out front. He's got a man open shot. Score by Noonan. Killingsworth will get the assist. And Fort Wayne back to within two. Time of the goal is 12-37. 9-7. Killingsworth has three points in the night. A goal and two assists. Noonan gets his second goal of the year. Killingsworth now with 12 assists on the season. Fort Wayne calls time. And we'll see if Orff will stay in the game for Fort Wayne. Orff is out. They go to the sixth attacker with 223 left. And the Invaders lead by 297. So the Invaders try to hang on. They had a six-goal lead at one point, and it has been cut to two for the second time. Once at 8-6 and now at 9-7. Rudy to Moyers and now back to Pisano. Ahead to Steve Moyers. Moyers working on DiBernardo down in the corner, and the foul goes against whom? Against DiBernardo. So the Invaders will put it in play from the right corner. Outside, Kondrich, it went behind him. Tima chases it over, gets it inside to Rudy. Rudy trying to get inside Lugris. 2.12 left to play. Outside to Pisano, he fires, and Alioto just did get that to kick it over into the corner. Now Moyers in the left corner. Moyers outside, Pisano picked away and taken by Killingsworth. Killingsworth to Basil. Fort Wayne back on the attack, under two minutes, a minute 55 to go. Down in the corner, O'Keefe, sliding play by Swanner to clear it away. 
And DiBernardo has it back out on the point as Swanner hustles back in front of the Invader net. Minute 45 left in the game. Canton by 2-9-7. Fort Wayne with a sixth attacker. It's Alioto. He's got the ball in the midfield circle. On the right point to DiBernardo. DiBernardo to Killingsworth. Lost the ball to Moyers. Moyers got it past Alioto. It's just wide. A couple of inches wide of the post. Minute 24 as Fort Wayne regroups and comes the other way again. Alioto, long out front, O'Keefe, now Killingsworth, and backs it up to Lugris, and now DiBernardo up the right side, in the corner, ball knocked away, Tima heads it out, trying to get around Killingsworth, does, Tim Tima on the break up the left side, Tima will fire off the boards, and he missed it wide, Moyers on the follow, and it's blocked out front, 59 seconds left in the game. DiBernardo coming the other way for Fort Wayne, dumps it over to Lugris, Lugris, Across the Canton red line, 48 seconds left in the game. Now Alioto, he winds, he fires, blocked by Condridge, cleared away to midfield again. Pikasinski in a race with Alioto, Rudy with a steal, on the break, it's over, he scores! That's a hat trick for Rudy! And the Invaders lead by three with 35 seconds left in the game. That's got to be unassisted. Rudy with a steal, took it away from Alioto. And the Invaders lead 10-7. Fort Wayne with a sixth attacker. They dump it out of play. Goal kick Canton with 30 seconds left to go. This has been a lot harder fight than we thought it was going to be. Really a lot harder fight than it should have been. Yeah, I almost ate, ended up eating my words at the end of the third quarter. Must have said him too loud. Campbell must have heard me. Here is Swanner in the box. Long lead for Frick. Frick, and it hits his foot and goes out of play. 20 seconds left. Invaders will go to 16 and 5 on the year, and Fort Wayne will fall to 4, or rather to 8 and 15. Centering pass, Pisano dumps it in for Swanner. 15 seconds left. Outlet to Kramer. Kramer ahead for Frick, knocked away by Lugris, but Tima got it back to Frick. Here we go again. Knocked away by Alioto with 7 seconds left. And blocked by Kramer, 3-2-1, it's over. The Invaders win it 10-7. Offensive player of the game, Art Kramer. Condridge, the defensive star of the game. And the Invaders got a tussle in the late stages that maybe they didn't expect. But they end up winning it anyway, 10-7 our score. We'll be back to wrap it up in a minute. 